more if you'll come by faith. I'm going to invite my friend Steve. He's going to come and share a little bit more about the message of Jesus and how you can know God personally through his son. Thank you so much, Steve. Good morning. White chapel, my name is Steve. And I want to share my story. And it's a shocking story. I want to announce that I've lost my religion. When I was about 11 years old, I became a convinced atheist. I put my trust in evolution, in secular evolution, and believed I had all the answers. But I want to tell you something. I don't have enough faith anymore to be an atheist. I've lost my religion, and it is a religion. You take that on trust. Because I found not an opinion, but I found an experience of the living God. And this former atheist who's lost his secular religion is telling you today, in front of all these people in Whitechapel, that I experienced Jesus. I heard the gospel for the first time, and I tell you, I physically felt God looking right through me, and I realised I was undone. I heard the message of Jesus, and God began to reach into my heart and convict me. I wanted to walk out and run away, and I thought, I don't want anyone to see me praying with these people. And God spoke straight into my I heard the voice of God saying, you know what this man is saying is true. You also know if your friends walk through that door, you laugh in his face and walk out. I was so convicted. I said to myself, you hypocrite. You hypocrite. You should pray with this guy. You know what he's saying is true. And I want to tell you and officially announce to people in Whitechapel, I have renounced my religion of secularism and I put my trust in Jesus because I just don't have enough faith to be an atheist. I don't have enough faith to be an atheist. I renounce my secular religion. And, and I, I want to tell you that Jesus is not my opinion. Jesus is my experience. I should have been in prison. I should have been dead. I was a petty criminal, spiraling out of control. But I found that Jesus supernaturally changed something in my heart. I had a list of people a list of people I had vengeance with issues with. And I said I would never have peace until I get vengeance on every one of them. And a week after I became a Christian, a voice came to me again and said, do you forgive all the people on that list? And I was shocked. It was just so easy to let them all go. I thought, what's happened? This life has been taken away from me. There was a guy called Matthew. I couldn't even mention his name. I hate him so much. And yet the hate of God. What happened? I tell you, I don't have the faith to be atheist. It's easier to believe in Jesus. And I want to tell you, Jesus is the Son of God who died for our sins and rose from the dead. And the Bible declares, whoever puts their trust in Jesus will be saved. Do you know where you're going when you die? Do you know what will happen to you in eternity? I want to tell you, you don't have to trust in an opinion or put your faith in scientific theory. Put your trust in the one who has proven to be the Son of God. 500 prophecies spoke of this man, and every one of them came true. Jesus, the Son of God, changed me as a person. And I tell you, I don't have any faith anymore to be an atheist, which is why I believe in Jesus. Thank you.